Yeah, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Couldn't resist though. Taking the door panels off, I need to go find my thing for that. Cause I gotta fix that window, the rollers. And I'm looking at the dash and I'm like, ah, maybe we take that out since I'm gonna get the stuff ordered for it. Now I'll take the gauge cluster out first. And look how filthy it is under there. I'm gonna clean that all up. Repolish that lens as long as it don't break being too brittle. It should come out nice and then I'll repaint all those needles orange. scared to see what's in that corner because that's where the rust is on the outside that's kind of why I'm wanting to take this out to see what I'm getting into and I'm gonna start waxing uh, cutting and buffing this paint in here because this stuff ain't coming off anymore I've done everything I can now it just needs a good cut and buff to bring the white back and put the dash pad off I can go through and get all that done and decide if I'm gonna sand and those doors are pretty beat up down there I don't know if they'll be able to come back and kind of warm from the heat maybe i just buy new ones we will see but yeah one day at a time one piece at a time all right just a little thing on these dash pads nothing nothing to taking them out um i ain't gonna go through it and video it i got no way to hold this camera and do it at the same time but uh there's a million videos on youtube you don't need to see my dumb ass doing it but there's one two three four seven millimeters and some have some don't mine did one right here there's not one on that side and then there's like four three or four clips along three or four clips along the the windshield that duck down underneath so at this point it should just come up and pull and come out that was way too easy i want to see what's going on underneath here i'm getting ahead of myself but screw it I don't do anything in the order I plan. Nothing ever goes as planned, so might as well take a win when you can get a win. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to bang up them gauges down there, scratch the lens, so I'll go on that side and take it out. Slid right out like nothing. Like nothing. I'll clean her all up. Somebody stuck a speaker down here and they just laid it in either that or it fell from up above. But we'll get some stickers in there. We'll get rid of the squirrel nuts. <laughs> Still looks really good, huh? What's it look like in there? Oh, yeah, right, right where that damn spotlight goes through. It's well rested on this side, but this side where it's really rotted out down there is good. So I'll be able to clean this up real nice. take this out next maybe I'll do a little separate video on that uh, <laughs> what I do with these and clean them up one two three four never done one in a C10 but I do them in every car that I own when I get them because they look pretty close to that on the inside you take them out clean that dust out clean the faces up looks like you're looking at a brand new car stash even if it's 20 years old so just makes a world of difference when you're sitting behind the wheel driving your car that can look like hell on the outside but at least you feel good with what you're looking at and if you spend a bunch of money to get it running good and people don't notice it because it looks like hell which is this is gonna look like hell on purpose I still like to sit inside and feel good because I spent some money on where I'm sitting and what I'm looking at so that new rubber floor I got coming new dash pad is coming I think I'm gonna do new door panels, a new seat. I just gotta hit buy. I gotta go to the bank and put some more money in before I hit the buy over there at LMC and load myself up. So probably had oh, foot pads are like brand new. I'm gonna look well, no, that one's tore up. I'll probably get new foot pads and see, it's all surface rust here, but that might be a little extra. That might be a little extra crust. Might have to patch that before I put it all back together, but I get this rubber floor and the seat out is the next thing. Seat out, rubber floor out. And I'll uh, run the DA over everything and at least seal the metal before I put the new insulation and pad in. So, yeah. Dash come out, gauges come out next, I guess. I thought I already said it, but I thought this maybe, just maybe had original 37,000 miles on it being a railroad truck. And 
service truck and as well as everything else is really preserved on this truck but I saw the remanufacturer sticker tag on the block so we know the motor's been replaced and uh, it would have been under warranty unless it was out of date but I just found proof it's 136,000 or 137,000 here's the proof oil change 75,000 looks like they did 70,000 and then they turned it into a 75 and then they pointed over here with the little arrow 86,000 so yeah it's been last oil change was 86,000 that they wrote it on the ceiling there's a whole bunch of stuff written on the ceiling in pencil phone numbers and 78 730 there and I don't know if you can see that probably don't show up on the camera but there's our proof yeah at one point the oil change was at 86,000 that means that it flipped archaeology automotive archaeology all right door panels are off this window is the reason why we took the door panel off in the first place and uh you had to move the wind. You had to move the window up and down by hand to let the track catch up. So it was off the rail, is what I thought. And it's not. See, I've got it resting on the. There is no rail on that glass. That rail is a rusted, beat-up pile of shit in there. So we need to order a new one of them. The glass is good. Get these new channels here and on the other side and this is all just busting out i don't know why it's busting it's supposed to be rubber it's not hardened up so i'll go ahead and order that new we'll clean these doors up got that door off lubed up that one's in good shape just had to grease the the rollers and the uh all new rubber and the felt on this side is just the same as this side and it's just distorted and holding the glass back so I busted a few pieces out and window goes up and down nice now so I'll have to put an all new felt around that which was the plan that was the plan I'll get the I want to look at this right now I think this is a one piece seal um, or a two piece not one piece two separate pieces so I'm gonna get those ordered they're not in that bad a shape, but they're painted on the outside and uh, look like hell, so. Get this all cleaned up. I think it's a two-piece. Looks like a two-piece, okay. And I can take these out and clean them up and repaint them, make them look good. That door will look a lot better with all of this fresh black felt and rubber instead of painted crud. These ain't that bad. Not in that bad of shape. But they're still bad enough. So I got new ones of those coming. I'm going to switch all the lights over to LED. centered in the wheel well it's a little on the forward side uh, really noticeable on the other side so I think the problem is if I lower this like I was wanting to then I can't get the back lift open because this happens it barely clears right now if I lower that I can't get in there so Got new LEDs coming for that. New ones of these. Slowly but surely. 
How about that, people? A little scrubbing, two rags worth. Half the dash, I'll get that half later. Gotta go around the gauges and all that one. Do wanna take it out. Scrub it twice with the one rag and go back with a clean rag. And much better. Getting the swamp off it. That's what those look like when I get that weather strip out. I'm gonna have to order that here this week. <sighs> Getting it ordered. Just gotta get to the bank. Probably use this stuff on the roof. That'll be the next thing. All right, just a little quickie. That door's done too. Man, you might wonder why it's all gonna get covered by the dash or the interior door panels. You put new on and leave the dirt underneath, and and that's fine. But you know, you know when you smell a fart, <laughs> you're smelling particles of poo. Well, all those particles got to go somewhere. If they're not up your nose, they go all their place. Not just poo, but anything, you know, manure and stink in the air and mice and you name it. So all that filthy dirt that's piled up underneath, by getting rid of all of that will help the smell in here, which is highly moldy. Well, uh... Get rid of all that. It'll start smelling fresher in here. It already does. Just power washing it made it smell fresher. But getting this is just another step. When we put the dash pad back in, it's just one more thing that won't stink. I'll actually throw some wax on this because it is paint. Now it's waxless. It's clean, but it'll attract dirt. So I'll throw a little wax on it. Hand wax. It'll only take me a 10 minutes to do the doors, do this. When I clean the ceiling and the other panels down there and all that kind of stuff, I'll throw wax on them too. And then you put the panels over and it should help keep it cleaner longer. And well, wax always smells good, so that'll help the smell in here. And yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Somebody would be happy to ride around in this. Like I said before, if I don't get what I think it's worth, I'll keep it. And I'll be happy riding around in it. Hell, I might just keep it anyways. The more I'm playing around with this old girl the more she's tugging on my heartstrings we'll see what she looks like when she's slammed and what she drives like then might just be worth it so all right just a quick little video converting to leds got the new lenses those don't those run on like that and they blink off for the blinkers they just go off LED bulbs in here really light up that factory look on the nice new covers I had to rewire that whole thing there's a four-legged furry rodent made its house back there and chewed all the wires for everything finally got it just all back together painted all this rusty crusty so that it'll be nice behind the grill there's another one straight on they're nice yeah pretty good don't have these wired up yet. Still gotta wire them up. It's gonna rain, so I might be out, but converted to those. I'll take the plastic off after I'm done painting. But it's quarter 20 tapped, drilled and tapped. So put stainless in there, and that's a stainless ring. But at least the wiring's easy to get at. We'll get that taken care of later. Ain't driving it yet, anyways. Well, just a little update, guys. What's going on with the rail truck? LMC will be here next week. Yeah. Tuesday next week, so I'll be able to start getting the back interior together. Yeah, I like those. All right, there you go. Decided to get after these cab lights. We got a couple of them in with the LEDs. A lot brighter. The two on the end are, are lit. They're not changed yet. Those are lit <laughs> compared to those. That's why we're doing it. They're old bulbs, anyways, but. 
Look at how old these things are. They're just, oh, I'm sure this one won't do it. Every one of them I just barely touched and they fell apart. So, I'll show you how that's going. The factory screwed in nut. I clean this off with a razor and then I'll put the new one on. that and then a new top so pretty simple oh and dielectric grease this is one of those aerosol ones and the aerosol really wears out and you throw it away well if you actually pop the top off I've been using this for years there's tons of the dielectric in there so I still coat the terminals I clean the spot where the ground goes and the ground piece I put some of it in there and I put it on that so when the, if that water ever gets in there it'll keep it from corroding just good insurance. Uh, I got the... All done. They look good. A lot better. Pressure. We're getting there. One piece at a time, people. One piece at a time. Everything just keeps bringing it around a little better, a little better. Can't wait to start playing with the paint. Got the grill sanded. Probably gonna paint it tomorrow. I think I decided what I'm gonna do on that. I'll show you when I'm done. Yeah. Ah, she's coming along. Gonna be cool. A little update. Got a little cleaning on the floor. Got the seat out and scrubbed. I haven't power washed them yet or washed them or anything. I'll do that later. But that spot down here that I thought was going to be an issue. It's, it's an issue, but it's not horrible. It's just this little rip right here. And that little thin there. So I'll probably just make that piece. You know, about that big. Should be good. No other holes in this floor around here. Surface rust. I've got some surf, uh, rust converter coming. So we're doing that. And back to this side. I knew there was a hole in the floor, and we knew we knew about this. But this hole in the floor couldn't be in a better spot. It's it's pitted and crusty. But it is solid through here. There's a body line here. I can cut right here, cut right along in here, cut in here. It's just a flat piece. Patch that in, rust convert it, we're good. And then this, this is a little worse than I thought, but it's still doable. I can still cut this along the pinch weld and just patch that in. Probably from here to here, pretty flat piece also. Same thing here. Patch that in. I don't think it's worth doing a whole rocker for it. I could just patch those through. So I got one, two, three, and then that spot over there I'd love to do. And then this floor is pretty solid. I'll, like I said, rust convert it, and then I'm gonna prime it, all the rusty spots. You know, repaint them white. Get this thing all cleaned up. I might paint that back wall white to sand it. Just some cheap implement white fleet paint, you know. Just to help clean it up in here. Anything else? It's coming along. I have to say, even though it's even though it's got these issues here. It's a lot better than I thought. Alright, a quick video, I guess. We're getting ready to cut that out. I figured a 4x4 square would be good. This is pitted, but it's not. I mean, it is solid. Um, solid all the way back. I don't want to get into this indentation here. I just want to cut out a nice flat piece. So I went 4x4. Four four, trace that out. Put an arrow to put forward to the vehicle. This side up. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then I'll clean it up real good. And... Uh, 
while the nappies make sure we're good to go so just a matter of fitting and trying and fitting and trying until we get it just right and I thought I can always drill a new hole in this if I went wider but then I get into this rolling area here where if I stay over here I keep my hole for the sill plates it's solid um, and I don't get into this I already have to do that over there and that'll be an experiment so this is supposed to be the easy side hopefully get it all cleaned up and then I'll uh, I'll get it all wire wheeled and then I got some rust kill rust kill it let that sit and then I'll come back and primer it with a brush and just brush it on primer and and then uh, we'll have a couple other flat pieces like this here that'll have to be done and I'm gonna do this here with that lip so that the, the new weather stripping can get in there so have something to glom on do I got to do that over there too but it's a lot better over there surprisingly so not building a show truck, just building a solid, reliable truck. Alright, this is... This is what we're fixing also on this side. I'm going to fix this in a separate piece, but what I got is... I'm going to cut that where that mark is, bring it down a little shorter. I got this bent. Fit right in there. Once I cut it out, it'll fit smooth. Looks like it's big enough that it'll cover everything. Yeah, so it'll be like that. And then clean that up and that'll be patched in. It'll be a little tough getting down in there. Gotta clean this all out real good. That's how we're gonna do it. Nothing high tech keep it from getting worse, rust to prevent it, no hole by your foot, so the rest of this is solid, it's just surface rust from being under that rubber mat and sitting outside, so this is surface rust, I'll clean that up, or rust kill it, keep repeating myself, but yeah, get this whole interior really clean it'll look like brand new when I'm done before we lay the mat in get this all cleaned up real good and uh, yeah it'll be good oh well then the rust sucks forgot how bad it sucks has some ugly welding right there but I'm gonna grind it back see where there's still some holes and tap it hopefully have some solid welds to weld back to that's how it works. You hit rust, it blows apart and blows apart until you get to a solid part or until a solid frickin' weld hits it. This side was better. Still ain't good. But, we holy moly, no more. That's better. Get a little more solid floor to hit. Grind that back and then hit whatever gaps are left. Didn't even have to grind it back. It's all going to be covered by a rubber mat, but I just don't work like that. I still like to see if there's any little holes that I can seal up. So, come back after I clean it. I don't know how well this is going to get on film. It's still drying, but it's turning all that rust black. A couple more sprays looks like there. Maybe there. Yeah. It turns back to an oxide. Huh. It's working. Killing it. It dries a primate. Good to go. Alright, yeah, a little update. Yeah, you can still see that patch there, but it's going to be hidden underneath. It's all solid now. I'm throwing on some of this rust oleum farm implement gray primer it's a rust inhibitor um, a lot of farmers and whatnot heavy equipment swear by it. it prevents the rust but you can see the rust kill killed all that rust turned it black the little rust color that you have there is me rinsing it out with water and uh, some of the dust and whatnot having a little flash rust this will this will stop it so we'll get this all sealed up nice and gray primer and then uh, I got white to go over this so it'll be all nice and white again and should prevent it from rusting any further and we got the hole plugged up here 
patched, we're good to go. Got the patch over there, and that'll be covered up. I'll do a final one when it's all gray, and then uh, hopefully I don't forget. Otherwise, it'll be a picture of video when it's all done white. And then we'll be ready to start putting in the, the new rubber floor and the door panels and the mold or the rubber first, the rubber floor, and then all the new door seals and all the new window. But oh, we got to do patina too. So, but I can do the I can do this seal once the uh, floor is done and the rubber floor is in. So that'll be the next step. And got the first coat down. A lot of the inspection stuff you're seeing is just glue from the insulation that was in here before, but I'll probably do one more coat. Get in there real good. And then uh, come back with the white. And do a couple coats of that. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a big improvement, big time. So, all good. All right, first pass. A little gap to finish there, a couple little spots. Where the rust is blown out as I'm welding, but I'll be able to build up and grind back on that. Way better than it was, guys. Just take your time, finagle. I'm no pro, I'm no expert, I'm no master welder, but. For a patina vehicle this is better than a big ass hole if you see a little bit of it after i paint over it so what and then i gotta build this piece here yet it's getting there better than a damn hole every time you get in a big giant gaping hole looking at you i think that's pretty good i got that lip in there so at least i got something to hold the uh the new weather strip on a little short this ended up blowing out a little more, but there's a factory one right here. So, I mean, I'm thinking there's a little bit of a drainage. Um, yeah, I think this will be all right. It'll, this will, I'm going to paint it, patina this area. And uh, can't grind those out. I welded that to this. If anybody wanted to re replace the quarter later down the, or the, oh, the rocker later down the road. They can take this out. It's just spot rosette welded three spots, and it'll all come out with the other one. And this is welded to that so that it's not welded to the body or anything, so it'll come out easy. I didn't weld it to the seam or nothing like that. That way, if you want to take the rocker out later and replace it, you can, and it's not going to be a big hassle. Again, not perfect, guys, but we're not going for show car. We're going for usable, and who wants to look at a big gaping hole every time you get in and out? Patina this area be good there we go a little primer on there much gooder get a little patina going with that when it's done I'll be able to do the floors here coming up pretty quick so now we're gonna focus on glass gotta fix that over there got the piece coming from the, the sacrificial roof so That'll be the next thing. And then uh, I got a guy who's gonna do the windshield here. I have it next week or so. It'll be the last thing I do though, because I gotta fix that piece over there first. And then I'll have him then I'll have him do that. Then I can put the dash in and everything else. So maybe have him put new rubber in the back here, back window too. We'll see. 